uh, our main mission is to um, help form intentional disciples of Jesus Christ. We have all school mass twice a week. We have mass the other three days before school and a number of students join that. One of the things we've been doing over the last couple of years is encouraging all of our students, all of our faculty, and all of our staff to do what we call the 1% challenge. 1% of our day is 14 minutes and 24 seconds, and so we encourage everyone to spend that time before our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. We offer Bible studies on Tuesday mornings, both for men and for women, retreats for our students, and then ultimately by the time they're seniors to learn how to go out on mission. We do try and work the faith into every aspect of, of our curriculum. I think there's a lot of interest in, in what schools like FGR have to offer. I think there's a lot of frustration with the public schools and sort of the rhetoric and, and the push towards ideology and beliefs that, that really don't resonate with a lot of people. And we've had uh, a number of families come and just have found it to be quite a breath of fresh air. Not only the academic rigor that we offer, but really um, the personal touch, the way that um, our teachers and our faculty really care about our students. The biggest fear of students coming into the school, whether they're a transfer student or a freshman, is am I going to know anyone? Is anyone going to know me? And from day one, there's 19 other people in your house group who know you and who you will know. We are not a one-to-one -one school, so um, cell phones are not allowed throughout the day. We use computers strategically and minimally. If we're gonna be successful, we have to be really clear about how we're different and why we're different. If we're just another college prep school that doesn't really look or feel or pursue truth in a, in a more tangible way than the public schools, then we may as well not exist. Everything we do is aimed towards helping students to form that relationship and to respond to the love of Christ.